Welcome to In Your Neighborhood, I'm Jennifer Wakeman. Well, it's finally summer, and for lots of kids, that means planning a trip to summer camp. But for children with chronic illness, a week at summer camp isn't always an option. The Wolf family of Millville, Pennsylvania came face to face with this need for a camp designed specifically for kids with special needs. When their youngest son, Nicholas, was born back in the mid 80s, he was born with a, a rare liver disease and the Wolf family literally had to travel all over the United States trying to find help for him. When he was a year and a half, he received a liver transplant out in Minnesota. And um, it went very well. And when they got back here to the Greenwood Valley, uh, they decided that they wanted to do something for kids uh, like Nicholas that they had met in all the different hospitals that they had visited. Um, and they came up with the idea of starting a camp for kids with special needs. In 1987, the Wolfs donated 35 acres of land for the camp and started the Nicholas Wolf Foundation to fund and manage it. And at that time, there, were, there was a small handful of camps that were similar to Camp Victory uh, throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they really didn't have a whole lot of uh, things to model after. Uh, they came up with all, most of these ideas all on their own, this board of directors who are, you know, just amazing group of people. They had the land and the organization, but now they needed money to make the dream of Camp Victory a reality. The Lions Clubs uh, really were very interested in this project and they came on board and uh, they decided that the Lions of District 14G, which Millville is part of, uh, it's, a, it's a very big district in Pennsylvania. Uh, took on Camp Victory as one of their projects. And the first real amount of money that we received out here was through a grant from the Lions Club International. It was a $50,000 grant and it allowed us to build the first cabins out here at camp. The Lions not only provided the money, but also the labor. Members of the Lions Club spent many weekends constructing these first cabins. Funding came in to build a dining hall and a no-interest loan from Ronald McDonald House built the swimming pool. Things progressed nicely until 1994. We had enough buildings and enough facility here to start overnight camping for the first year. That summer, Camp Victory hosted five camps for about 350 kids, but that number grew as word of Camp Victory spread. People found out about us, organizations found out about us, and they thought, wow, this is a really neat idea to have a camp for, for kids with kidney disease or heart disease. And now we have 31 camps coming in 2011. Last summer, more than 1,300 kids spent time at Camp Victory. We have camps for kids with heart disease and kidney disease and cancer, um, but we also have camps for kids with autism and diabetes. Um, and so you might think, well, you know, that might be a little bit easier for them to attend a regular camp. But um, it, it really does take a specialized camping facility to, you know, to take care of their needs. With such a wide range of camps, I wanted to know how Camp Victory is able to provide such specialized care for all of the kids. Each weekend or week-long camp um, comes in with their own staff, uh, their own counselors, um, each one of our camps has a name of their own, Camp Spifida, Camp Kidney, Camp Courage, Camp Hero, and each one of those camps has a board of directors of their own. They're all 501c3 nonprofit organizations of their own, and so Camp Victory partners with them. We call them our partner groups, and we, we literally do partner with them. We raise a lot of the money that makes it possible for them to come to camp. They also have to raise money to, you know, for the kids to come to camp here. And um, each one of them comes with their, as I said, with their own medical staff, um, their volunteers, and each camp comes with their own counselors that are also volunteers. And um, they change from week to week, from weekend to weekend. What makes that really special is that the medical staff and the counselors are familiar with the needs for each one of those weeks because it would be impossible to have a medical staff and counselors that would be able to deal with all those special needs. Essentially, Camp Victory provides the facilities and the partner groups provide everything else for their camp. As you can imagine, different camps have different types of needs. Each one of the camps set up their program, the, you know, the, the way it's best suited for them, uh, which is another nice thing about having the partner groups. Uh, they come in and they, they do their own schedule. 
um, they give me the schedule and then I take uh, that and uh, coordinate the Camp Victory provides the programming for the waterfront, the swimming, the uh, boating, the climbing wall, and so um, I have to coordinate that with our uh, paid employees that, mm -hmm. that are part of um, the lifeguards and the climbing wall people, the challenge course people. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also the, the kitchen staff. We provide all of the kitchen staff and the food. Many of the camps held at Camp Victory are run by national organizations such as the Easter Seals, while others are grassroots organizations. So there are quite a few camps that are run by uh, national organizations, but then there are also camps that maybe parents or doctors have gotten together a group of people and formed uh, a board mm -hmm. or a, uh, an operating committee, mm -hmm. and um, you know that's how they govern, that's how they're governed. As the executive director for Camp Victory, Jamie Huntley organizes the summer camping schedule and, along with the board of directors, oversees the needs of the facility. With camp already underway this summer and going on well into the fall, that's a big job. We are at the point now where we cannot accommodate any more week-long camps during those summer months. Uh, we can take more kids um, during some of those weeks. Some of the weeks are filled to capacity. But um, we have continued to add weekend camps in the spring and the fall. So that's how we've continued to grow. When we come back, we'll take you on a tour of the Camp Victory facility. Stay with us. You've seen those commercials for other providers that offer you a low introductory rate or some gift for signing up. Tempting, but after that introductory period, what will you be paying? Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. At CATV Service, we have no gimmicks, no contracts, and no hidden costs. Just great rates and great local service for your digital and high-definition television, high-speed internet, and local and long-distance phone service. Don't be tempted. Visit us at CATVService.com for the real deal with no fine print.